Hello, materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu. Today, we are talking about Greek myths. This is specifically from Classic Starts. I've been reading this book to my six and eight year old daughters, and they've really liked it. I, I will say this is probably not one of my favorites, personally, my favorite of the Classic Starts, simply because, well, the stories themselves are, are rather fragmented. L let's, let's be honest. Uh, ancient storytelling is is not the greatest um <laughs> especially when it's truncated down and i'm actually going to give you a real world example and i'm just comparing this classic start to some other classic starts such as three musketeers or i've got treasure island here and i've got about 10 of these books and, and they really do so so well with uh giving you small little chapters that are big enough that are perfect for when you uh, read to your kid at night uh, before they go to bed it's just the right amount of length but I'm just going to give you an example. Uh, before we've got our table of contents, we've got everything from Hercules to Pandora to um, Perseus. And, uh, and it's kind of cool to sort of give them that background, uh, albeit very truncated, but you're giving them this classical background of these Greek myths. Uh, because you and I, we kind of know sort of, well, don't open Pandora's box, you know, sayings like that. But what does it actually mean? And some of these stories in here with, with very limited illustrations, I'm gonna give you an example of an illustration right there. And uh, it's okay. Uh, they wish there were more illustrations, of course, but uh, it's good for them to use their, uh, that's, that's Mount Olympus right there. Uh, but it's good that they use their imaginations. All right, so let's hop right in and I'm just gonna read a paragraph or two. Perseus dropped Medusa's head into his magical purse. It closed around the head. There was nothing to fear from Medusa now. At that moment, the two other Gorgons awoke. Horrified at the sight of Perseus, they tried to fight him. But Perseus slipped his magical cap onto his head. He became invisible, and the monsters could not find him. Happy and proud, Perseus returned to his tiny fishing village. He expected to find his mother married and living happily. And then it continues and it continues. So as you can kind of see, that was just one paragraph right there. And it moves very, very quickly. So again, not a lot of details. It's just action oriented. It's, you know, we went from two Gorgons waking up and immediately he put on his magical cap. Uh, they picture cap like this, even though it's probably more so a cap like an actual helmet. But but we won't go into that. And then he became invisible and, and, and moved on. As far as violence goes, uh, I mean, the worst it gets is Hermes, a, or, I'm sorry, Perseus aimed Hermes' sword at Medusa's throat. Athena guided his hand. He cut through Medusa's neck with the sword. Then he swooped low enough to grab her head. Perseus looked into the shield the whole time. By doing that, he avoided being turned into stone. So that's really the extent of the, quote, violence. Uh, but, you know, just to keep in mind, it doesn't get too graphic. That's pretty much the extent. Uh, but overall, I would give this book maybe a four out of five stars. I do appreciate that it's fast moving. They've, they had to truncate it down. Uh, but honestly, the, the tales and the stories themselves, you're probably much better off buying The Three Musketeers or Treasure Island, or I've, we've got The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Little Princess, of which I'm also going to be reading small little excerpts from that. But for now, there is the uh, classic starts Greek myths. My name is Bo Shevisu. I hope this helps.